Hello, this is Brian again. Just a short distance down from where I left off. There's kind of like a little mini landmark. This rock over here. Passed by it once or twice before. It's supposed to be called Ice Socket Rock. Because it looks kind of like a skull with eye sockets. So I'm just going to go up to the base of it. I've seen a picture of this in one of the hiking guides. I think it was a foot in the field by Jerry Shad. I think it was. But, yeah. Eye socket rock. There's the right eye. There's the left eye. And there's the brow. Kind of like Neanderthal human. <laughs> really cool little spot. I remember this oak tree was alive. I think it was alive the last time I was here. I think this area was hit by the fire. But yeah. Just a little... This is a cool little landmark. I've seen it, seen it in Hiking Guide. And I've passed by it, I think back in 2014. Let's go up this side here. But yeah, here it is. Oh boy, there's a beehive over here, I think. So I'm not going to get too close. But yeah, pretty cool. There's the nose. Well, not the nose. The nose is made of cartilage. <laughs> but pretty cool. Cool little spot. There's some spots here. That if you, especially on the Santiago Oaks, more towards the Santiago Oaks side, you'll get these hills and these really steep canyon walls cropping out with that marine sedimentary soil. And very scenic. Pretty nice actually to see some of that, some of that marine sedimentary soil. But yeah. Oh, a little baby prickly pear. Probably from a piece that broke off from a, another plant. Time. It's been mountain bikers. It's kind of nice to see some people on foot. Now let's see here. It's a little rockier section of trail here. You can definitely see some fire damage over here. Let's see. I think that's part of the Weir Canyon Nature Preserve right there. This might be where I turn around maybe. We'll see. I might actually curve around here and go along that way to make this a little bit more adventurous for me. Just your step coming down. This is kind of slick. Preserve. Yeah, see? I was right about that. I think this is just another neighborhood access point right here. Let's see what's going on. I'm pretty sure this is a neighborhood access path right here.
Otherwise, I'll probably start heading back the way I came. Back up this hill right here. live oak in their yard. Lucky. <laughs> yes. Even when I was a kid, I was always jealous of the neighbors who had certain trees in their yard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am one of those guys. I think this is another neighborhood access point. Wow! These people, they have a humongous laurel sumac in their yard. Oh man, that's so cool. That's insane. Pretty cool, actually. They got a big little sumac in their yard. Maybe they built, maybe they built their landscape around it. Maybe. There's the peak up there. I wonder what straight this is. Canyon. That's the name of it. This actually loops back to the car. Just parked up the road a little bit. Huh, interesting. Oh, I guess this is the end of the hike. Oh well, that was pretty neat. That was a nice little day. Nice little hike. See, I went up that way. So I kind of looped this one out a little that turned out to be a pretty neat loop. Alright, I like that. Pretty neat. Well, that'll do it for my hiking series for today. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go take a picture of the peak for Peakery. But yeah. Yeah, the peak is just up there. Probably the best place to take a picture. It's a little hill of grass in the way, but... Huh. Thanks for watching my series. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad I finally got out today. I almost went another week without hiking. Thankfully, I stopped myself before it was too late. Thanks for watching, and hopefully next week I'll be out again. <laughs>